Welcome to another edition of Out the Box. I'm Paul Sillers of Firewalls for Now and Firewall News. In this uh, series, uh, we look at what you get in the box once you've placed your order for your new firewall. This is not meant to be a technical review. It's a, this is what's in the box. These are the cables, these are the components, and a very first look at the outside of the firewall. So today, we're gonna to be looking at the Dell Sonic Wall TZ Soho. This is the box. Now, this was recorded just a couple of days after uh, Dell's announcement that they're going to sell uh, the Dell Software Group, which of course includes the uh, Sonic Wall range of um, firewalls and security um, systems. So this might be called something different when you see it. Uh, the TZ Soho has been out for about a year and a half now, um, and so this is a good look at what you get in the box. So let's just get right on. We're just going to break the factory seal here um, on the outside of the box and have a look inside. First look inside, uh, very simple, we're going to have a look here, um, we have the quick start guide and the event, uh, environmental documentation. I'm sure that both of these you're probably just going to discard in your dash to uh, receive and look at the hardware and we'll look at the actual physical firewall in a minute. Um, but in here the rest of the packaging, you've got the power supply and um, power cable in here. Now this is a sonic wall and I can guarantee you, unless you are local to the US, um, you won't have a power cable um, for your region. So make sure your reseller sent you one or you have an IEC, sometimes called a kettle lead, um, that you can plug into this. Um, we will show you a little bit more about that in a moment anyway. So if we just remove the uh, packaging there, um, gives you the other components that are in the box. So we'll have a look. Uh, probably a one, one and a half to two meter um, LAN cable there. Um, this is your American power cable, so for many people you may just be um, throwing that away. Um, and then in here um, is the uh, power pack. So for those people who are not sure, that's um, what an IEC connector looks like, if you can see that there, the three pins, um, often called a kettle lead. There's probably about, a, again, another couple of meters cable um, just neatly wound up on there. And a clip connector, I really like this. A uh, few manufacturers have been doing this recently. Um, really nice, clean, easy to do connector, especially even though these are desktop units, um, they're often going in a rack or a small depth comms cabinet. By the time you push the connector back, you're a bit worried when you bring the, the unit forward. Um, that maybe the power cable will um, drop out. So once this is in, it's clipped in, but we'll show you that again in a minute. So let's have a look now at um, the actual firewall itself. This is the um, wired version. The wireless version is identical to this, but it has external um, paddle aerials. Um, the box here is plastic. This is the entry level unit, so do bear that in, in mind doesn't have internal antennas like some of the manufacturers. Um, there are external paddles for the wireless version, um, but the box is plastic. So <coughs> the front here, um, you've got all of the lights, um, sta status, um, what the maintenance situation is, um, the activity on all the ports and everything. So it's a clear indicator for what's going on. Um, on the back, you have a five port switch. Um, this along here, sorry, at this end here, this is a console um, port. You can do a limited amount of configuration um, through that. So out of your five ports, obviously one of those is going to need to be your LAN port. Beyond that, the other ports can be whichever configuration you want. They can be other LAN ports on different subnets. They can be bridged through to the other LAN port. You can have multiple WAN ports. Um, these do support PPPoE as well, so you can connect them directly to a bridge modem if you want to, or bridge router, depending on um, what you're uh, using. So on the side here, we have a Kingston connector uh, for those people who are security conscious and bolt things to the desk. They can use the Kingston lock. I'm not sure of anybody that still does that, but obviously uh, it is used in some places. Um, and on the next to the warranty void seal, we've got a USB um, port. The USB port um, is there. It um, is for um, a limited number of chipset um, 3G and 4G dongles. Do check Sonic Wolf's website um, so you make sure you get something that works, but it can be set to use 
um, as a um, 3G or 4G failover um, along with your WAN connection. So it does make quite a nice um, little setup. So that really, in essence, is the Sonicwarm TZ Soho.